What up, what up, YouTube? Uh, Scott Miller here, Music in Motion. Video two, Project Blackout, our 69 Chevy Chevelle. Uh, in this video, we got some cool stuff, man. This is gonna be a good one. We have, uh, this is gonna be part one of our trunk build out. In the trunk build out specifically, we got a whole bunch of goodies going back there, but where we're gonna go, get, go ahead and get started in part one here is going to be the enclosure design. We're gonna be building a fourth order bandpass enclosure for a pair of Arc Audio 12s. Uh, we're also going to get some amplifiers cabled from Arc Audio. We're going to get the rear partial shelf addressed to get our vent up through there. And we're going to spend some time talking about the enclosure style that we're using in this vehicle. What are we waiting for? Let's get started.
So let's show you where we're at coming out of the time lapse here. We have, um, you want to just get the enclosure together. So here's what we got. It's not actually that big of an enclosure. Uh, it's, it's large, but it's just wider than it is deep, you know, which is good. That's what we needed. So we did some little cutouts on the back. Uh, this was just for some additional depth. Uh, the arc woofers have a pole vent on them. Uh, the pole vent, they recommend keeping it about an inch from the back wall. Uh, with the pockets there, we're about an inch and a half, almost two. So we just wanted a little extra depth, but basically what we got, so woofers are gonna mount on the front here. This front section, if you can see, is our sealed section. And you know, we talked so much about the bandpass enclosure, we didn't actually talk about what it is. So the fourth order bandpass that we're building, maybe this will be a good shot. So it's basically a seal box that we then play into a vented enclosure. So vented because we're using a slot, not a round port. Um, but yeah, so it uses the combination of both. So this is our ported section. So I'll show you our port here in a second. We got it sitting up in the car, but so this is where the vent comes in, goes out up into the back deck. Uh, so again, all the energy gets focused up there. Wolfers mount here, acrylic face, bunch of cool stuff on the enclosure and jamming. I'll show you the port we got here. So in the car, we're just getting ready to get this guy mounted. But, so this is our vent. So good size vent. It's got, we did some flanges on it with some basically thread certs for wood. So that way we can use a machine hardware to get them mounted. Uh, so four M6, I'll mount this up in the deck. Um, three more M6 right here. We'll mount it to the enclosure. The enclosure gets mounted to the floor with four fasteners and we should be locked in. So what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and get the top put on the enclosure. So, cause we're, we're done with that. Um, Get the port finally mounted. We should be able to do some treatment in the hat shelf as well as underneath to make sure we get the port sealed. So we'll get that all taken care of. Man, we're running. So we're gonna keep going. We got, get this enclosure set up. We got our acrylic here today. So we might get that punched out, ready to roll and uh, keep on jamming. I know in this video specifically, we're just building the core of the enclosure and we're gonna get the amplifiers cabled, uh, ready to play. Part two, deuce is where uh that's where we'll trim the trunk out so we'll get it all functional at this point uh it's just part of our process so we'll go ahead and get it functional and keep on keeping on so let's get into super fast youtube mode in here for two seconds with you guys so we've got a piece of quarter inch acrylic loaded on the laser here what we're doing is we're just cutting a simple pattern out of it um, this is going to go on the front of the enclosure that's going to get lit and it should be pretty awesome so we're going to leave you guys in a time lapse here kind of watch some of the process here but um yeah go time
Okay, so coming out of time lapse, um, yeah, let's catch up on what we did. So I did get some footage in there of the laser. So this is the grill pattern that we just made for the box. We did a um, piece of eighth inch acrylic on the back side in black just to get some, some gloss black, uh, piano black finish on the back. Then we did a quarter inch acrylic that we cut a grill pattern out of that we wanted, capped it with a plastic from Trotec that's silver when you cut into it just to get some contrast there. But uh, all in all, pretty happy. Um, we do have our Blue Ghost module hooked up, so we're gonna test the LEDs. We do have them all installed. Not gonna lie, I might have tested them off footage, but whatever. Uh, we also got our trim in, so all the trim work's been done on the sealed side of the enclosure. Other than testing, we're ready to drop this thing in the truck or in the car and get some woofers in, this, that, and the other. We just have to put a terminal cup on the back, so we'll make one of those. But we wanted to take you with us and kind of show you what we did with the LEDs. Um, the LEDs, we only did one strip in the bottom on here. Uh, what the goal was is we didn't want to light the entire panel. There's other lighting going on in the trunk. The only thing we wanted from the enclosure was we wanted kind of a diminishing fade. So we wanted something strong at the bottom that kind of played out as it went up. And you guys will see, I may have cheated. I did draw some files in my CAD software as to what this is going to look like. But uh, when you guys see the windows and stuff that are cut to see into the enclosure, it'll make total sense. But let's kind of see if we get you a pattern here. Okay, so this is just a basic builder pattern with our Blue Ghost, but basically what it's doing is exactly what we want. We wanted a heavy glow at the bottom. We wanted it to kind of diminishingly fade as we went up. And what'll happen is our windows on the enclosure, when you see into this, we'll get a cool little aspect of depth. Our windows kind of cut down here. So we have a cut down in here. We have a big cut down on the bottom in here. So we'll see some of the fade up, which I think will be really, really cool. So, and again, we have loads of different patterns on here. I mean, we can do solid colors, multicolors, dazzles. Uh, I mean, you guys have seen us use these in other videos. So all in all, it's a really cool module. There's another piece we're gonna be trying here in the near future. Um, just not, I, I put my hands on them, but we've not played with one in a vehicle yet. So we're waiting to get into that. But all in all, for no other concerns, we're, we're happy with the Blue Ghost piece. Um, we need a better solution outside the vehicle. So we did grass, put some straws to pull that together. But uh, Michigan's got some tough weather, man. When we talk about the roads and stuff up here, it's it's definitely a different ball game setting up exterior electronics on these. Man, the roads are so salty and the snow and the, I mean, I've been in climates where it's wet, you know, and we can tolerate that. We heat shrink and insulate connections. I had erosion show up even outside of heat shrunk and isolated connections with dielectric grease. I mean, so it's, we definitely have to treat things a little different up here, but for the most part, we wanted to catch up, show you where we're at with the box. Again, we're not trimming out the entire trunk in part one. You have to catch us back on part two. Um, in this video, again, the box, getting the amplifiers cabled, and moving on. So, as difficult as that may be, uh, that's where we're at. So, let's go ahead. We're going to get this put in the trunk. We're going to get the acrylic cut for the front, do a terminal cup on this, and then we're going to move on to our amplifiers. So, let's do this. guys i know that time lapse was kind of a mess there at the end but uh i got it in it uh dropped right in place all the fasteners lined right up which was really really nice and so now we're just gonna we're going through the app right now we're gonna test some lights for you guys but let's see if everything works yeah hell yeah man that's awesome so uh yeah that's exactly what we wanted so just kind of that diminishing light from the bottom we'll have some windows here so like i said this all kind of makes sense we might have seen the future when we were drawing it, but, um, but yeah, really cool. That's exactly what we wanted to see. So we're going to go ahead and get moving. Uh, the next segment of this, now that the box is kind of in, is we are going to go ahead and get the amplifiers situated. Amplifiers, see if I can kind of get you guys in here. But So amplifiers are going on the back panel here. So we're going to build some framing for them. Get some panels there, hopefully build something we can kind of build on the bench. And yeah, that's what we got, a couple amplifiers. So we have a 1000.6 in the ARC series and we have a 1000.2 in the ARC series. A um, couple amps from ARC, so looking forward to this. Then we have our DSP Ultra. So, but at any rate, we're gonna get into Cable Town. So let's go ahead and get set up. Box is done, got that behind us. Moving into cables, gonna run through Project Blackout. So here we go.
Okay, so let's kind of show you what we got here. So we've got to take this mess. We made it a mess. But so basically what we did is we kind of roughed in our harness here. So we have an accessory harness here, which is basically going to give us just some extra wires run through the vehicle for any accessory circuits or anything we decide to add after the fact. Um, what we're doing is we're not actually running raw wire in this vehicle. We're actually building a harness. So building harnesses in these vehicles, when we have them stripped down to this extent, it just makes sense to go ahead and harness them. So all the random wires are just put together in sleeving just the way the factory would. And you have a serviceable vehicle, again, just like the factory would. So what we're going to do is we have these roughed out right now. We have them taped off at our junction points. Now we're just going to go back and dress them, uh, make them look real nice. Once they're dressed, not only are they serviceable, but they're that much easier to install in the vehicle. So get these dressed, get it all set up, and then we're just dropping a harness in. We're going to move back to the trunk, uh, finish cabling our amplifiers, because this again is our speaker wires. It's our wire for our conductor from Helix, which is kind of our level control, sub adjustment, preset adjustment. So it's kind of our controller. Uh, but yeah, all the goodies. We have lighting wire in here, the whole shebang. So super fast YouTube mode, as always, and some dressings. So let's go ahead and do it. So real quick, harness. So this is everything we needed, right? So we pigtail out at the front for each kick panel. We come down the center console. We have a junction point for our accessory harness that we ran in here. Uh, that'll interconnect front back. Just give us a junction for all the accessories tying in. Um, outside of that, we have the breakout for the rear speakers. We have the breakout where the harness goes to the fuse panel down the passenger side. Uh, DSP and amplifiers on the driver's side. The whole shebang, man, this thing's ready to roll. So when we drop this in, 
in a perfect world, uh, we'll have a plug and play style environment for the rest of the accessories in the vehicle. So let's go ahead and get in the car. We'll get this run through there and uh, yeah, keep on going. Blackout running, man. <laughs> so we're gonna get this one wrapped up. We, uh, <laughs> man, we've been in Cable Town, dude. Like, let's show you what we got. So, bada bing, bada boom. So, fuse distribution, uh, 
accessory circuits, amplifier. That's our six channel. Come around here and our mono. These came out really nice, man. Look really good. That's our fuse distribution panel, lighting module. You guys saw the sub enclosure already. So, definitely spent some time making this one nice. I mean, we make them all nice, but sometimes when you cable these things, man, some of them you got to work for, and others just lay out right. And thankfully, we didn't work very hard for this one. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to tell you that. I mean, of course we work on them, but uh, no, this one came together really well. So I'll show you what we got kicking in the back deck real quick. This is going to be where we end up in our third video. So port is in the hat shelf. So that's exactly where we wanted to be. So everything's secure, good to go. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. As much as I would love to keep building that trunk for y'all, we're going to stop. So. Um, the next video is actually going to be part three and part three is going to get us into the rear partial shelf or the hat shelf and the kick panels. So yeah, we're going to stall y'all on the trunk, man. I'd love to get back into it, but got to watch the rest of the series, man. You guys come with us. You'll see the trunk soon enough, you know, so uh, let's go ahead and wrap this up. We're going to get closed up here again. We appreciate you coming along on this ride. This is Project Blackout. This is our 69 Chevy Chevelle. <laughs> So um, yeah, we're gonna keep on running. In this video, you watched us cable the amplifiers, get the sub-enclosure built, do a bunch of our RGB lighting in the sub-enclosure, cut some acrylic grills, do some cool stuff with a side of cool stuff. Really neat. So uh, really appreciate you guys coming with us. Make sure you're hitting the subscribe button, notifications turned on so you're not missing videos. And catch our other social handles, man. Uh, Instagram, Facebook. We're gonna get better about posting over there. So I know we've been a little rough. But uh, we're working on it, so bear with us. So, but thanks again for coming on this ride, and we'll see you on the next one.